Boy, y'all was quick to run to the internet and try and dirty up my man jacket, right? Yeah, y'all was trying to smear the smut on my man coat, bro, with the quicks. Oh, man, you got that pie in the face. You got to eat them words up, lick them words up, right? And I seen it from a lot of people, them, them Floyd Schofield fans, you know what I mean? Them Frank Martin fans, them Andy Cruz fans jumping to conclusions. And I'm talking about some of these channels, too. Uh, and of course, you know, if you follow my channel, you know, I'm out of North of Virginia, the home of Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker, and of course, Keyshawn Davis. So out of respect, I had to let this, this story unfold and get the facts laid out before I put out a video. Um, and of course, in this video, Keyshawn Davis responds and gives y'all some clarity. We got to talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. Get your big goofy ass in here. And I mean goofy in here and hit the bag. Hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out my gang, D1, Merc, 1ML, 21, Skinny, JT, Black, Jesus, my guy, Troy, Jack, Kiwan, Rebel Life, Modern King, Letitia, YK World, my guy, Tyree, Celestine. Big shout out, Sean Don, Punch Drunk, 9, one third Boxer, Sean, New Church, I see you, man. Uh, and real quick, big shout out to everybody who's bought some merch. If you haven't gotten a t-shirt or a hat or something, you, make sure you go. You know, I just launched a store. Rock with your boy. Pick up some merch. I appreciate it. You can do that right here. Bing. Now, Keyshawn Davis responds. And again, I had to wait, man. All right? Because, you know, everybody's going to go to the internet, start speculating, don't know what the hell is going on. And I get it, right? Because... Right off hearing it from the off the off the rip, you're like, oh shit! They then overturned Denier Albright uh, a fight to a no contest. He obviously then did some PDs or whatever. And I gotta admit, I was like, oh whoa oh, oh, whoa, hold on, God damn it, hold on. But I think if you have any inclination of just how hard Keyshawn Davis works, um, the fact that this kid will probably be willing to take um, a drug test every single day of the year. Um, and how much I believe um, he is against and I downright just hates the fact that there is that type of cheating in the sport of boxing. I couldn't for the life of me uh, 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 condemn him. Right. I couldn't I couldn't uh, um, picture him, you know, doing some type of performance enhancing drug. It just it, it never entered my mind. So I'm glad there is some clarity. And he took the IG. He had this to say. Um, I'm going to read this, this quote, uh, this statement from Keyshawn. Also, I'm going to play some audio from uh, that he also posted from uh, uh, the Bob father himself, Bob Aram, um, basically dealing with the marijuana situation in the sport of boxing. Uh, Keyshawn said this. He says, quote, uh, I truly apologize to my family and supporters for not being uh, able to fight. I feel extremely bad for not being able to perform. However, Rules are rules. And unfortunately, this boxing commission still feels Mary Jane is uh, a performance enhancing substance. When in today's time, the same substance is used for medical purposes uh, and can be bought either medically or recreational. What we do for a living isn't easy at all. Uh, and only us fighters feel the pain after we go through a full training camp uh, with sparring, underlying injuries. We may have, but still have to go fight through it uh, because we have to get paid stomach issues uh, as well as just going through the pressure we face day, day in and day out of our careers. This is a brutal combat sport. And me personally, it's not using this as an excuse, but this is a reality us fighters go through moving forward. I will better manage the time frame so I will not pop for the drug test again. But I will not stop doing something that is now legal and being sold in our country, America. I'm speaking up for all the fighters, athletes out there under contract saying Mary Jane is prohibited, especially being that it's sold as a medical drug in America. Let's move forward in today's world and in this. Thank you. Hey, I agree, man. And I was just having this conversation, which is crazy. Uh, shout out my cousin, Brandon, man, who's getting uh, a job. Uh, he's got a job offer, but he chief. But, um, you know, this job offer pro prohibits the, the, you know, the use of marijuana uh, in a country where, you know, in, and in a, a state 
where it's legal to use. Um, and I think Keyshawn makes some great points about this country moving forward. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's weed, bro, and, and it's legal. Um, and I still I don't think through all of the studies um, that you can put through for marijuana that it enhances a performance. I think if anything, people would probably agree that it, you know, takes away from um, some of the, you know, the senses or, or some of the uh, motor skills. Right. Uh, a lot of people would agree that it kind of makes you lazy and, you know, what I mean, probably slows you down more than anything. Uh, rather than give you some type of extra ability. The only extra ability I feel, uh, I've i heard marijuana giving people, and I think I'm probably <laughs> guilty of having this feeling too under the influence of weed, is that it make you think a little bit deeper. <laughs> that's, the, that's about it. But as far as giving me some type of physical advantage, nah, nigga, nah. When you drive it, you almost feel like a goddamn video game let alone giving you some type of physical capabilities or advantages. I just don't believe that's the case. But this is what uh, Bob Aram had to say, speaking on the topic of marijuana and somebody like uh, a Keyshawn Davis uh, um, being suspended and condemned for the use of marijuana. Let's give the Bob father a listen. I'm sorry that it happened that he tested positive, but I'm not going to condemn a kid for smoking a joint the month before a fight to go to sleep. What the fuck is happening? I mean, let's be real about it. Let's not be hypocrites about it. Cheating, performance enhancing drugs, that's cheating. That's wrong. Smoking a joint a month before a fight, take a poll here. What kind of percentage do you think of people who smoked a joint in the last month? So let's be fucking real. <laughs> hey, at 90 something years old, boy, Bob got the right to be completely directly uh, 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 up front and, 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 you know what I mean, with any situation. And I 100% agree with him. Uh, and I think the sport of boxing, the commission, they got to they gotta move forward with the times, man. Uh, nobody's getting a competitive edge fucking with no weed at the end of the day. Come on, man. C come on, man. All right, man, that's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Y'all leave my boy Keyshawn alone. He ain't done nothing but hit a, you know what I mean? Smoked a little blunt, you know what I mean? He probably was chilling with his little bride before he, he hit her, knocked her off, he, you know what I mean? Uh, and of course, it's for, you know, uh, it's medical practices, man. A lot of this stuff is good for those aches and pains and situations like that. So to, if you consider everything that medical marijuana does or marijuana, period, um, you got to be way more forgiving in the sport of boxing. And I think they definitely need to, you know, think about changing some of these policies with the quicks. All right. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Make sure you pick up some merch. This shit right here. Bing. All right, you know who I got with me, man. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.